I can remember far back as the age of 10 that this was the career path I was going to choose. Doing sketches, reading the top fashion magazines and following up on all the trends from such a young age. So that was my only choice. When I went on my work experience I knew architect wasn't for me. Living at a, behind a desk just doing all these mundane activities really wasn't for me. So the alternative was fashion design and I've always had a flair for fashion so it just seemed natural. Farron and I decided to work together because we both did our internships and we discovered there wasn't much creativity in the field anymore. Everything is cut and copy and we just decided there's nothing to lose. Let's just try out a label and see where it goes and two years later, look where we are now. I'd say the advantage of working with a partner is that you've always got that person there to lean on but also more importantly there's someone there you can work with, discuss ideas, come up with concepts, get excited about it. We both found our inspiration from fabrics, magazines, overseas trends and from actual people and around. walking around seeing what they like to wear, mm. what colours they style. Like. Um, like Durban's got a very prominent style, so we try like accompany them. I'd say anyone who's wanting to get into the fashion industry and to start their own label is, needs to be prepared to put in a lot of time and a lot of hard work. Because it's never going to be perfect first time around. It's, you learn from experience and, and grow it from there. My advice to someone starting out would be just to run with it. Don't be afraid. Believe in your product, believe in your brand and what you're trying to say um, and just make sure you're different to the next person. It's important, like you want to stand out, you want to make an impact in the industry. Um, so just don't be afraid and just go with it. When we first started out, our main form of marketing was social media. It was Facebook. We started Even off... Even just selling was... Yeah, that was our main form of getting out to the public and... Um, communicating with everyone, showing our brand, always uploading pictures. You just basically need to get it out there. So I think social media is really important. Time management in the fashion industry is critical. It's a very fast paced industry. So you need to be on top of your game all the time. You really need to plan your day. You need to really set all your tasks out. Um, if, you, if you can't manage your time you're never going to meet deadlines and there's so much on the go all the time that you have to really manage your time well and plan out your day. The biggest misconception would say is it's not a glamorous industry at all. You can't be coming to work in your latest Aldo's thinking you're going to draw pretty pictures and get everyone else to do the work. It's, it's hard work. You're basically doing all the labor yourself as well, carrying fabric, going into central Durban. So the biggest thing I would say, it's just not as glamorous as what people make it out. The highlight of our career so far is definitely, firstly getting our stuff into stores and also just like walking on the streets and seeing people actually wearing cinnamon. It makes us happy that people are enjoying our brand and the clothing. Even just, um, browsing on Facebook, we do a little Facebook stalk from time to time and coming across people that you know and you're friends with in pictures and their friends and they're wearing cinnamon. It's really cool. College choice is really important. It provides all the foundation building blocks for your career, whether you go on your own or whether you're in the industry, it's really important. Style Design College made a big impact on our career in that they gave us the right foundation and basic skills that we are able to use in today for our business. Style Design College was the foundation to my fashion career. 
They molded you and thrust you into doing different competitions, testing your abilities and your skills, and they really molded who I am today. I'd say our advice to up and coming young designers is to definitely be persistent and consistent. Like, never give up. Yeah, and just basically to just get out there, you know, make yourself available, make yourself seen, um, create good relationships with all your suppliers, um, be loyal to them, and just, just go get them. Get your label out there, get people into it, buying it, wherever it be, even if it has to be on the side of a road or something, just get you have it to out start there. start somewhere.